Hello, I am the Ronin Pawn, and this is Hardcore Pawn, and I'm already making this fella laugh. Who are you? You're definitely not Jeb or Bob, because I'm pretty sure they're not with us anymore. Let's get started! This appeared as a moral dilemma, because the first was weird, though I swore to eliminate the worst of the plague that devoured humanity. Is true, I was vague in the house, so it cannot be that you have shown me the light. It's a brand new day, yeah, the sun is high, high, high. Okay, everybody, I'm ramping up the difficulty level here today because things have just been going so well for us so far. I'm looking at the contracts Gene has for us, and I'm seeing two different missions that want us to perform temperature scans around the moon. So if we had, like, a little probe, say, in orbit of the moon, we could be doing those. Meanwhile, we've got these two missions to rescue Kerbals from low orbit. Rady and Ronnie Kerman, they are in a bad way. I'm thinking we send it all up in one ship, send the satellite off to the moon to do that while we pick up these these lost and stranded boys. If we want to send a probe up, then we need electrics. We need to buy into electric power generation as well as the octo. So I'm gonna do that straight off. See, the other thing we really need for this is the fairings. But I can't get there without buying plane parts and uh... <laughs> not, not gonna do that. I don't have... no. Oh, but if we take general construction, then we can at least be opening up the possibility of getting the fairings later without having to go for the plane parts. Oh, God. I'm gonna pick nothing. I'm gonna pick nothing. We needed the electrics, let's go build, and if we hit a wall and we can't go forward, then we'll come back and spend some science. Okay, that's interesting. I don't have that tab anymore. That, that tab doesn't exist. I can't make any more probes. At least not through that tab. Hey, it's back! Nice. If I'm going to do this with our 30 parts count limitation, I'm going to need 2.5 meter fuel tanks. And the only way I'm going to attach those aerodynamically is with this adapter, which we're buying right now. Man, this is a tough one. <laughs> it's a beautiful craft. <laughs> This build took about an hour, and I laughed thoroughly throughout the entire process. SAS-enabled craft, it just doesn't happen to have any, um, any wheels. Is there? 
Is the, let's pop this open. Do you do we have wheels in there? The Probodyne has reaction wheels? Well, good! I'm sure they're about as powerful as, you know, throwing some marbles in a tin can and rolling them around, but... Okay, I have inappropriately named this vessel. That's okay, because there's nothing else that's appropriate about the vessel. Okay, everybody, gather around, gather around. We're gonna do a mission mission briefing now. Uh, so we're gonna throw this whole thing in orbit, right? And we'll be left with this. Now, we're gonna use this in order to link up with Ronnie Kerman, get him into the craft, and then we'll point the craft at Kerman, set a periaps, drop him into the atmosphere, turn around, Oh, I just noticed there's a problem here. There's a slight flaw. Uh, there's no probe for Ronnie, and he can't control anything from in there. And then, how do you deploy the parachute spawn? Okay, well, we discovered it on the pad, so, you know, it's, uh, good for Ronnie. Okay, got it now. Yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. Aerodynamicism all over the place. Houston, wanna give us a countdown? God save Ronnie Kerman. In three, two, one, fire. And we're off and away. Okay, we've made orbit. We have made orbit and we've still got fuel left in this stage. That was not part of the plan. Um, wow. We're actually more efficient than I had thought we were going to be. Ronnie, you've got a chance in hell here, son. Oh, Ronnie, you may have less of a chance in hell here, son. I didn't realize that I hadn't upgraded the tracking station yet and can't set you as a target. You know how nearly impossible it is to encounter someone without the aid of computer tracking? Holy crap. <sighs> I'm guessing that it costs far more than the 200k that I've got in order to get the first upgrade to the tracking station in hardcore mode. And I'm sort of right? That's not too much more. I got no way of getting another 100k unless uh, the administration's building is open. You guys, could you give me a loan here? Who's got the money? Finances? Anybody? Anybody got any uh, bailout grant? Maybe of you know hundreds of thousands of Kerbins would be great. How much of this can I? Oh, can't afford that. Come on, more free money. More free money. Who's gonna give me free money today? Use all my good reputation. Oh, I don't have any reputation. I've been killing everybody. Uh, what about you? Can you give me money? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, Ronnie, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best here without the navigation systems, uh, but it's basically impossible. So I'm thinking maybe what we do is screw Ronnie. Second. Did I just target Ronnie? Did I did I just target Ronnie? From up here I can't, but when I'm close enough I can? Well hell that makes this easier. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that had to be done. All right, that just had to be done. We're leaving a little scrap in space, but we're trying to save a Kerbal's life. Or, you know, at least save him from hunger. He's probably out of snacks. Oh my god, we've got Ronnie Kerman here! We got him! Thank god I was going to just about rip something out of something. Okay, Ronnie, let's rip you out of something. Alright, you've got something in your RCS, don't you, boy? Uh, just turn that on. Yeah, you've got fuel in the old jet tanks. Come meet us, for god's sake, man. Um, we'll just, we'll just shoot that down later with a missile. Don't, don't worry about it. Well, you look happy. You should be. Um... I don't know if we have enough fuel to go to the moon for the second stage of our mission because of you. I hope you appreciate this, you little ginger prick. So Randy, exactly how far away can I be and take control of you? Because I thought there was a pretty close limit and uh, two kilometers is a... That's, that's, that's a bit of a gap to me, Randy. How, how long have I been noodling about in space, wasting Delta V and throwing bits of the rocket out as debris to circle Kerbin forever when you could have just stepped out of the ship and floated over? Soulless son of a... Okay, Randy, we have prepared a seat for you in the tourist chamber. Uh, don't mind the, you know, Fritos and Hershey bar wrappers and things. Just pop right in and we'll send you home. Okay, with 2,100 meters per second of Delta V from Kerbin orbit, we should be able to get there. Even after we drop this little guy off in the atmosphere. Hey! Hey! Wait a second, is that our debris from earlier? Oh my god, when I dropped it... We had a periaps that took us into atmosphere, which means that is actually going to descend eventually. We did leave debris in space for the little red-headed, you know, love patch wearing douche that we're, that we're taking home right now. Yay! <laughs> okay, Randy, we are coming up on the app so plan is I, you know, just drop you off at the nearest turning, basically. I'm going to put on our retrograde burn down to about, say, 35 kilometers and just let you go and you're gonna have to figure it out from there, man, because I am on my way to the moon with this satellite, okay? You got stranded out here, that's on you. I came and picked you up, that's on me, and I did a damn good job. Now, you've gotta try not and become a green splat on the side of a hill somewhere. That's on you. Okay, said I'd drop you at 35, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Don't have time to chat, so have a wonderful trip, little guy. Bye! We're orbital again. Now let's check in on, um, on Danny Boy or whoever this is. Where are you? There you are! Okay, how's your, uh, how's your flight looking? What's your, what's your trajectory gonna be? Uh, yeah, that's death. That's good death for you. Listen, Ronnie, I was just being cheeky before. You don't think I take a girl out and don't walk her to the door, do you? I'm gonna see you down here, son. Oh, Ronnie, uh, <laughs> something's just occurred to me. There were a lot of facets in this mission, and a lot of things went into building the ship, and this was sort of the last thing, was the Stay Putnik, and making sure you had a way to pop your parachutes. And I'm just now realizing that the Stay Putnik has no reaction wheels. I have no control over you whatsoever. This can just pop your parachutes, which means we've got to pray that you hit atmosphere and your butt turns into it, which is happening right now. Oh, thank God, Ronnie, you just might live. Let's just hope that it stays this way on descent, because as we know, things have a tendency to spin over and then heat up and explode. And the probe, kind of crucial to you not, you know, dying. So Ronnie, um, if you want to use my cell phone and maybe call some people who you liked, this may be the last time they'll ever hear your voice. <laughs> That's really sad. Don't end on that. Oh, okay. Shock heating has begun. Ronnie just wanted to, you know, check and give you some good news. Um, you may be hitting an ocean. This is, this is all going well, Ronnie. Just, um, don't jinx it. Don't jinx it, okay? You want to use my cell phone, seriously. You might want to call your mom.
Okay, Ronnie, I may have lied to you a little bit about the ocean, but I just wanted you to have confidence going into this. And look, you got the sunrise coming up. You've got, what is this? Moho is looking over you. All good things in your favor, Ron. You're slowing down very quickly now. You're in a very lightweight craft that can be grabbed by the atmosphere and made to do whatever it wants. Don't worry about those those mountains underneath you. Those will be fine, okay? We're gonna clear those completely. Don't 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 worry about those at all. Look, Ronnie! You've made it! You're down to 650 meters per second at 14 kilometers. This is the most successful return flight that we have had in this program since the release uh, of which we shall not speak. It is safe to deploy parachutes now. Let's do it. Let, oh, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's definitely do it. Do it. Parachutes away! Oh my god. You've made it! It's so nice when you actually succeed at a game so difficult as KSP, especially after they ramped the difficulty up. I feel awesome! I feel awesome. Please don't explode when you hit the ground and ruin this feeling of awesomeness. What a beautiful sunrise, too. You're just catching the morning, and there's something out there that we have to go take a look at. On another day, I'm really tired. I'm just knackered. And I've still got a mission to fly to the moon, you know, Randy. It's not all about you, okay? Ronnie. Sorry, have I been have I been calling you by the wrong name the whole time? Well, at least we, you know, the we won't put it on the headstone wrong because you're gonna survive, mate. You're gonna survive. Parachutes deployed, coming down at less than 3.3 meters per second. Ah, life is good. Life is good.